All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another casually competitive deck tech with Thunder, brought to you by Discard to Reroll, everyone's favorite podcast. So, uh, taking a look here at a deck that I have uh, kind of put together. Uh, again, this one a little bit, uh, a little bit more on the competitive side. Uh, still tweaking a few things, but like I said, remains to be seen what the current meta will actually shake up to be. Uh, so this is what we're rolling out with. It's going to be single die Afra, single die General Grievous from the Grievous uh, starter deck, Battle Droid, Battle Droid. So Dos Battle Droidos. Um, I don't know if that was right. Uh, but Dos Battle Droids and uh, Grievous Afra. Now, the reason we're able to play this character pairing is because Grievous allows us to decrease the cost of our droids by one. And then he also has a cool power action that says, reroll any number of your droid dice. So uh, we get some, some sweet synergy here. I believe if the math is correct, uh, what is this? Uh, 19 plus 12, that's 31, 31 health. So we're sitting at 31 health, which is huge in any Afro deck. Uh, a lot of these decks aim to damage themselves just as much as they're damaging their opponent, uh, but gain small edges uh, here and there uh, by dishing out consistent pings of damage uh, that kind of overwhelm you round after round. So the battlefield I picked for this is, again, sideways. Sorry for that. There's not much I could do about it, uh, but it is Salt Flats. Um, and it says, power action, turn a die to a side showing a blank or turn one of your leader dice to any side. So uh, really why we have this in here is because General Grievous, the subtype on him is leader. Uh, so what that enables us to do is probably his most valuable side other than the, the damage sides are, are nice, but is his two focus. So if we do have uh, salt flats, uh, if we have possession of the battlefield, we can uh, blank one of our opponent's die so it becomes like mitigation or we can uh, flip him to the two focus and then kind of focus up some of our, our other things. Uh, the battle droids, pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, they have some, some damage on them, two blanks, six health. Um, they can activate each other if they roll an indirect, so that's pretty cool. And then we have uh, Dr. Afra. So a lot of people have seen the power of Dr. Afra in uh, probably like two metas ago, I'll say. Um, she was uh, all over the place in a, a Snoke Afra battle droid deck. Uh, but in this, we're going to pair her up with General Grievous. So she decreases the cost of the uh, first droid we play each round. So it's just taking a look at the supports that we're going to play as long as they're droids. And then uh, she has some damage sides on her, pretty nice. Uh, a discard side on her, it's okay. The two shields I really like, it seems to come in clutch for me. Uh, but the, another uh, bit of text on here that's really good, it says, after you deal indirect damage to yourself, draw one card. So being able to kind of cycle through your deck and uh, get to the pieces that you're looking for is huge. And uh, that's a, a real strength of any Afra deck. So we're going to move into the, uh, I have the supports, uh, down here, the, the supports are a lot. Uh, these are the uh, uh, upgrades, excuse me. Uh, so this is just kind of some added spice because we're running a four character list. Um, it's Vow of Vengeance. Now, it only costs one. Um, it says, uh, increase the value of each of attached characters, character dice showing damage uh, by one for each defeated character you have. So if you really think about it, like, it can get a little nutty. So say, um, you know, and there are ways to kind of dictate which character dies and in which order to in this deck. Um, so if you think about it, if both of your battle droids were, were defeated and Dr. Afro was taken out, uh, you can turn General Grievous's single die that we're rolling him in at, um, increasing each side, each damage side by three. So <laughs> he's got a four range and a five indirect. And I think that that's like, it's super funny, and but it could be super good. Um, it turns your battle droids into monsters. Um, it <laughs> It is uh, three ranged, four indirect, four indirect, uh, six plus six indirect. So it could be potentially huge, but uh, I, I do understand that, uh, you know, good players might play around that card. Um, we have uh, 
two copies of modular frame now this card's super clutch so it has a redeploy it's zero cost upgrade it says attached character has plus one health discard this upgrade from play if it is not on a droid or on general grievous so we're going to be able to get a lot of value out of this and it has redeploy uh love the art on this it's like uh you know the the droid that is putting together uh general grievous super cool uh just a great value card in the deck so i'm going to move over here to these supports uh these are like our utility supports so uh, i'm going to start off with tech team uh we're running a lot of supports that are, are are fairly cheap and they get a little bit of a discount because of dr afra so why not make them even cheaper now i like tech team i just think it's really good because once you get one down it's great um, but you might want to run things like reprogram which is an event in your deck um, or maybe possibly logistics uh, that's that's completely up to you i just like tech team because i think you get continuous continuous use uh from it uh round after round which uh, i'm a huge fan of uh to me it's like having uh you know a, a well connected or uh something like a truce uh you know minus the, the drawback but um you know something like that every single round that you can kind of depend on and it doesn't have to remove a card from your hand so that's kind of why i turn to, to tech team when i'm building decks like this um, so that's going to decrease the, the cost of our supports we have bubble shield which is kind of like a cornerstone in any afro deck uh, basically you could play it you could block up to three uh, indirect damage and place it on the support once it hits three you have to discard it um, there's cool ways to kind of manipulate and heal your own characters as well as absorb uh, some of the indirect that you're dealing to yourself or that your opponent is dealing and kind of just outpace them by by helping you, you, you a little, yourself a little bit more like stay alive um, uh, that in conjunction with modular frame is like pretty pretty good uh, because it brings our health like if, if we went down the line and increased our health by uh, three so uh, if you think about it, we're sitting at a, what, a 31 health deck, so it's 34, and then if you added another modular frame and they kind of just went down the line um, to character after character, that's another three, so you're sitting at 37 health in an Afro deck. Um, I know it's like wishful thinking, but uh, the bubble shields kind of extend the life even more. Um, something that's going to deal ourselves indirect damage is Climate Disruption Ray. Now, Afro decks used to sit, I believe, at like 26, 27 health, uh, the Snoke variant. Uh, with this, you are uh, going to be sitting at 31 health. So it's huge with other ways to kind of keep our, our, our health pool high. Um, you could just, you know, every round just tap this just tap it and keep putting on the pressure uh it's really great into mill uh obviously because it's something they can't interact with unless they're able to to remove it from the board um but it's just two damage every turn uh and then there are ways to kind of gain a little bit more out of that um so I, i'm super super in love with this card uh, especially with an afro deck at 31 health um, we move into our droids package now every other support is a droid which is super cool um, so we have two copies of the sap droid uh, so if you are familiar with dr afro's ability uh, this is free so you just get a, a free die uh, card out on the board and it also has ambush so that could be uh, relevant at times uh, but yeah it's got a 50 percent damage sides uh, not too great but it does have the the three uh, indirect and like I said my rule is anytime something has a three indirect on it uh, it's good but usually uh, three indirect uh, you know don't have to pay anything is is ideal but uh, with this you know it it could be free and basically you're just paying the three to, to it would have been you know with the support cost in the first place so uh, you can get this in the general grievous starter uh, set starter kit um, deck uh, but I think sap droid is uh, a lot of value Moving on, we have the usual suspects, uh, BT1. Uh, so just really cool because after you activate them, you'll deal one indirect damage to yourself and one to your opponent. So it kind of puts that pressure on a little bit more. Uh, also allows you to draw a card with Dr. Afra. Um, and uh, die sides are just wonderful. I mean, it's just straight damage. This guy dishes out damage. Uh, it, it's amazing. So uh, BT1, awesome. He can come in the battlefield uh, at you know, a, a resource cost of one because of uh, Afro's uh, discount. So I just love, uh, love BT1. Uh, moving on to his, uh, his sinister partner, Triple Zero, uh, or as some might say, OOO. Uh, again, he gets the same discount with Dr. Afra. Uh, if he's the first droid being played, he, you can bring him in at one. Uh, but he says, so he has a nice kind of a, a counterbalance to, uh, to 
BT1. He says after you deal yourself indirect damage, you may deal one damage to an opponent. Um, so he essentially allows you when uh, BT1 deals one indirect to yourself, uh, with triple zero down on the board, you're dealing two indirect to your opponent. Now, if you think about this combination with like a climate disruption array, it's the same concept. You're doing yourself two indirect damage and you're doing your opponent three indirect damage. So it's those small edges that are really gonna help you uh, throughout the rest of the game. Uh, now we have two copies of Assassin Droid. Again, with Afra's ability, this could cost two. Uh, if you have a tech team down, it can cost one. Uh, so just uh, a whole lot of value. It says after you roll this die into your pool, you may deal one damage to a character. He's got 50% damage sides. Two blanks are a little rough on a three cost support, but uh, you know he it, it, it's really kind of helping out a lot. Uh, and then we have the big daddy support. Now you can you can kind of play around with this as much as you want. Uh, I never seem to to get this card out or, or play it as frequently uh, as sometimes you'd like. But it is hailfire droid tank. Um, it's got a buttload of damage on it. It has no blanks, if you could notice. Uh, after you play it, you can deal one indirect to your opponent and then activate it. And then it has a cute text on it that uh, I don't think was really uh, relevant in uh, previous metas that much, but it says, after you play a droid, you may activate it. So you can activate the droid. It essentially gives all the droids ambush, which is really cool. Now, something to note here, uh, all of these supports that are droids, they have the, the droid uh, kind of type on them. Uh, they gain the, uh, the, the power action ability that you can you can affect those droids as well. Uh, so that's really cool. So it's power action, reroll any number of your droid dice. So that hits your two battle droids as well as any support on board. So if you're running out of cards in hand and you really just need a better roll, uh, General Grievous allows you to do that. Moving on to the events. Again, this is a staple in Aphrodex crash landing. Um, I don't think it was that good in the previous meta because of Vader. If you were able to crash landing a Vader dice, assume that damage and kind of spread it apart, uh, he could just power action and, and roll back in and essentially get double value off of one of his dice. So uh, I think with Vader kind of not being as prevalent as uh, in the previous meta, or I don't think he will be, um, I think uh, Crash Landing uh, kind of goes back to its original uh, intended purpose of just being really good, uh, allowing us to distribute damage where we want and uh, removing one of your opponent's dice. Uh, moving on, we have two copies here, yep, of Dangerous Maneuver. Now this is another card, it's like a, a pseudo heal card for us um, because we could have like Bubble Shield down or we could remove damage from Afra or Grievous, which are generally going to be their targets and kind of just dish them over to the battle droids. The battle droids are essentially just like little meat shields, uh, I guess, or maybe little, little metal shields. Um, then it would just be like actual shields uh, that are on the, uh, on our, on our side of the board. Uh, it's essentially 12 health that they have to go through. If you get a modular frame down, it's more. If you get bubble shields down, it's even more. Uh, but it feels really good to have like uh, a triple zero down. Um, you play dangerous maneuver and you know you you shift some damage around but technically you're dealing yourself indirect damage so it'll it, this would technically deal one indirect damage to your opponent so uh super great value uh two copies of automated defense spot a droid to remove a die now we all used to play uh, cards like pin down in any type of support deck this is basically a pin down exclusive for droids uh, but the good thing about this is starting off the game uh, you know as early as round one and round two uh, I don't think that we're it's gonna be hard for us to find droids but if we aren't able to play a droid support we still have uh, droids as characters so uh, this card is pretty much hundred percent live all the time uh, so it's just something to consider uh, we have two copies of Probe, just to get into that hand a little bit. Uh, between all of our character dice and um, even some of our, let's see, let's see. Oh, cause, so the Sap Droid has a discard, and I think Triple Zero? Yeah, Triple Zero has a discard. So we don't have a lot of discard options, and then Dr. Afra. Uh, but Probe, uh, just disgustingly good card. Uh, basically, you want to play this card when they have like uh, three cards or less in their hand, and then you're able to rip out like any just good events that they were saving or uh, mitigation. And uh, you could really have confidence in the rest of your turn. Um, or, you know, at the very least, you just gain card knowledge, uh, like hand knowledge. Uh, so probe needs to be in here. And the fact that it costs zero is still just busted. 
Uh, we have one copy of Near Miss. Now, this is, uh, let me move into this section. This is just all of our, our one drops that are good, but maybe not good enough to, to have two copies of, or uh, maybe the price of them is just a little bit too steep that we really don't want to be paying for it. Uh, we want to save the money for all of our... Uh, our droids and be able to get in the, to be able to get those out as quickly as possible. Um, so we have uh, one copy of Near Miss. Um, if you watch the first deck tech, uh, I played this card with the uh, the Trooper deck. So it's spot two characters that share the same subtype. Um, this card is good early game. You can even put this uh, a card like Flank in there. I would probably suggest Flank over this card. Uh, but again, we're just trying to push a little bit more of the convergence. Um, the, the convergence cards and just keep in mind they're not gonna gonna go after uh the uh the droids so you know we're gonna kill them at our own discretion usually um but uh you can certainly put flank in the deck and and feel fine about it uh we have two cop or one copy excuse me of route uh uh or route uh but i like to say route um and uh, it says, for one resource, for every three dice in your pool, you may remove a die. So uh, we could have a really high ceiling with this card, uh, especially with how cheap we can get droids out. And, uh, you know, we, we have a four character start. So technically, we only need two more supports to uh, to be able to, to remove two dice uh, with this, assuming that all of our dice are in the pool. Um, I know a lot of people are in love with this card. I just think as long as... Um, you know, you're, you're sequencing correctly and, you know, not walking into to certain blowout cards like uh, uh, easy pickings or into the garbage chute. I, I just feel like, you know, you might want to resolve your dice as they come. Uh, if you have good value on your die, uh, just resolve it, take the damage, you know, take the resource if you need it that. Uh, don't lead yourself uh, to be open to be uh, kind of like uh, mitigated you know, pretty, pretty hard or even like entangled. So uh, that's my suggestion with the deck. So route can have a huge upside, but uh, could also kind of hurt you if you get too greedy with it. Uh, one copy of free for all. Now I love this card. Uh, now we could typically get out a decent amount of dice. Uh, and this is basically like a finishing card or a card that's going to put someone at such a disadvantage. Um, we, we have four character dice, you know, very typical. Uh, we have four character dice to start with, and then, uh, you know, if we're able to get out some of these cheap droids, that could be five, six, seven. Uh, so it's it's really huge if, like, you know, uh, we just got to do, like, a little bit more damage and we have dice in, in the pool. You know, we can free-for-all, you know, say, like, some, some droid dice just aren't cooperating with us. You just hit them with a free-for-all. Uh, if you were able to tap, like, your climate disruption, I mean, you can you can do 10 damage or uh, 10 indirect. Uh, so super uh, good value. Uh, certainly like it a lot. Uh but yeah, one free for all. And then we have one copy of Roger Roger. So it says spot a red character to turn up to two of your droid dice to sides of your choice. Now you could certainly add another copy of this in here. I just think that uh, it's good. It's not amazing. It's basically pay one for, for two focus. Um, it certainly is good. Uh, but the cool thing is, is it allows us to uh, hit any of our droid supports as well because they're droids. So it's not just up to the uh, battle droids the, the characters, you could also hit um, the, the supports. So this is the deck. I hope you guys liked it. Again, you know, some minor changes. You can kind of be willy-nilly with the uh, uh, Hailfire Droid Tank. If you want to keep it in here, you can. If, if not, uh, I, I certainly understand that. Um, same thing with Val of Vengeance. It's more of like a cute, like, uh, you know, something that, that your opponent might not expect. And then now I'm, like, taking another second look at it. Near Miss should probably be a flank. Uh, but, yeah, if, if you guys like the deck, uh, comment down below. Again, uh, really do appreciate all the support that we receive here at Discard to Reroll. Uh, hopefully, I'll try to get out, like, decks like this, like, every week. If you guys really like it, it'll be awesome. Uh, if not, you know, maybe we could, we'd try something else. But I think uh, having a deck that you can kind of start with and then kind of tweak from there is uh, was always helpful for me anytime I was uh, playing a card game. And uh, I think that this is certainly a great starting point for Afra, Grievous, and two battle droids. Now, there is another deck that I'm pretty high on when it comes to uh, the droid uh, kind of uh, archetype, and it is uh, Single Die Grievous two uh, super battle droids, so all single dice, and then one uh, uh, regular battle droid. Uh, I think it leads to like some crazy uh, concepts if you really think about it. Um, the health pool is even greater than this one. I think it's 33. And 
Uh, basically, it gives you two free focus uh, to, on, to any of your droid dice. Um, the only thing with that is we don't have access to yellow, and I think yellow does bring a lot to the table, especially with uh, 000 and BT1. So if you guys want to see that, I could certainly post a, a short video uh, kind of just outlining uh, the Grievous super, double super battle droid um, battle droid deck and uh you know as i kind of dive a little bit deeper into the into the decks uh we can look at that also uh, i think uh, something that that's gotten a little bit more support is uh elite afra and then two uh executioners i think with cards like uh, uh riot shield that have gotten really good uh you also have your near miss which i just seem to be a huge fan of as well as measure for measure which you saw in the previous video uh it's basically he doesn't like you off of the trooper dice. So they are troopers, and I think that they've uh, gotten a little bit better. So thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you in the next deck tech video. And uh, certainly you can hear us on uh, Discard to reroll uh, on our podcasts. Uh, hopefully we're going to try to get them out a little bit more frequently. Uh, but thanks for, for sticking by and supporting us. All right, guys. Take care.